Revival by Zach Bryan is a perfect song for beginners. There's only three chords you need to know and it's going to sound like this. Now this song is a lot of fun to learn and it's great to work on your strumming as well so come check it out with me. Now we're in standard tuning and we don't have a capo on and if you are a beginner I've got a free five day course that's going to give you all of the basics that you need to know for this song including strumming, timing and an idea of how you're going to play chords. So go check that out in the description below and then we can get onto the chords here. So the chords in Revival are going to be an E minor. So we've got an open sixth string. Then we've got a 2nd fret of the 5th and 4th string. And then we've got open 3rd, 2nd and 1st. So putting that all together. That's our E minor. So make sure you've got all of those strings ringing out. Then we've got a G major. And today we're using the 2nd, 3rd and 4th fingers for a G major because it's easier to transition to a C major next. So we've got our ring finger here on the 3rd fret of the 6th string, our middle finger here on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, then we're going open 4th, 3rd and 2nd, and then our pinky down on the 3rd fret of the 1st string. So... That's our G major. And then our C major, we're just going to take our ring finger and middle finger down one string each. So now we've got 3rd fret of the 5th string, 2nd fret of the 4th string, open 3rd, 1st fret of the 2nd string, and then open 1st string. So. So we don't need to play the 6th string, so I'm muting it here with my thumb. So a C major is played like that. So we've got an E minor, we've got a G major, and we've got a C major. And that's actually all that you need to know. Those are the only three chords. So now we can get into the strumming and into the intro. So our strumming is going to be down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. All right, so that's a lot to take in all together, but our first one is going to be down, down, up. All right, that's our E minor, so we're going to go. And then we're gonna quickly go onto a G major for our next down, down, up. So that's taking our ring finger onto the third fret of the sixth string. Down, down, up again, so. Then we're gonna go onto our C major, down, down, up. And then this last chord change is where we're gonna change up the strumming pattern. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, and then a new strumming pattern. So. So let's try that really slowly together. E minor, one, two, three, four. And you might just want to end with a single down strum on that G before we learn that strumming pattern. So, one, two, three, four. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. And a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Alright, so E minor to G to C to G, and again. Now there are a few little variations as well throughout this, but to start off with I'll just teach you the absolute bare bones, then I can teach you the funky little changes as well. So, so far... And then for this last one on the G, we're going to go... So that's down, down, up, down, down, up. All right, it'll make more sense once you listen to the song as well. So that's down, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so slowly again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So down, down, up, down, down, up. 
So that together will be E minor, G, C, G. So feel free to pause this video or slow it down if you need to to understand that strumming pattern. Alright, and that's going to be our whole riff there. And that chord progression is repeated throughout the song a lot, but let me get onto the variations for you as well so that you understand how they work. Now a classic feature of Zach Bryan's songs is that he doesn't play all of the strings. So you'll hear a lot of the bass. All right, so that's what I want you to do a little bit of now. Have a practice of that. So you're being a little more rigid in your strumming, you're not strumming across all of the strings. So you hear the difference between compared to Alright, so what I want you to do is just try and play maybe the first three or four strings, so that's six, five, four, and three. And you'll start to sound like Zach Bryan there. Now there are a few other changes I want to make. So if we play the whole progression You'll hear a little variation on that last G. I'm going And again You hear a little hammer on there. So what I'm doing is I'm strumming down once a regular G major and then for the second down strum so one two I'm going to take off my middle finger and hammer onto that second fret. Now the hammer on is not about how hard you press down, but it's about the speed that you press down. So, so just try that with the fifth string, just with your middle finger, trying to get accurate and placing it in the right spot of the fret and trying to get a good sound. And then putting it together with the chord So what we're doing is just putting on that hammer on there on the third beat of that first bar of the G. So. So that's actually how we play the riff in its entirety. So that hammer on is a really nice feature to add in on that last G. So let's play it through together one last time. One, two, three, four. And that's the whole chord progression. So for the intro, we're going to play through that two times and then we'll get onto a verse. So what you're doing is just going. And so on. All right, that'll take us straight into a verse where we're going to play that exact same thing four times. And once we've finished that verse, playing it through four times, we'll get straight into a chorus. Now this is the only other real change in the song, apart from some small variations. The chorus is going to have a different strumming pattern, but exactly the same chord, so don't worry about learning new things. We're going to go down, down, up, down, up. Alright? Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And sometimes you'll go down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. So you're just hearing that one extra down on the third beat of the bar sometimes. Or. And we're using exactly the same chords that we learnt before as well, so don't worry about that. We're going from an E minor to a G. C, G. And there are a few variations with hammer-ons and pull-offs as well in this one. And in the recording, that's actually a bit flexible with our hammer-ons and pull-offs. So sometimes he's going to go... So that's, again, very similar to the first time we played it. Down, and then... So that second down strum. to our E minor. 
There's another variation that he does with hammer-ons on a C major. So we're not familiar with this one yet, but it's a very similar premise. So we might go... So you might have heard there, I'm going... And there I'm just alternating between my middle finger being on and off, so... So that's... First time on, second time off, but then we're hammering on, so... And then when we go up, down, up, we might take it off. And you can only hear that slightly, but it is a really nice change. Alright, so it'll be one, two, three, four. And that last one is off there, okay? So... And then back to our G. So together that will be... So then a little bit faster. Alright, so you can hear how nice it is when you use those hammer-ons and taking off your middle finger as well to add some variation to the riff. So we're still in our chorus now, we play that through three times with some variations throughout. And then the fourth time, exactly the same chords, but we're just going to do single strums. One, two, three, four. So you might still want to use those lower strings. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Then that will take us into an interlude where we're going to play exactly the same thing as we were at the start of the chorus two times. So. All right, so that's twice through for the interlude. Then we're going back into a verse with our original strumming. So we'll be playing... Just as we have for the first verse, it'll be exactly the same for that second verse. That will then lead us into another chorus before we finish with an outro, playing through the whole way. So rather than doing those single strums, that second chorus will just be playing through the whole thing. And so on. And then in the outro, at the very end, you go into single strums again. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then that's going to be the outro, very similar to the chorus, it's exactly the same strumming pattern for the first three times you play it, so it's not too hard to get your head around. And that's actually it for the whole song, so don't forget to go check out that free 5 day beginner course to work on your strumming and chords, otherwise I'll see you next time.